Hey, this is Sarah here from Beauty Point by Point here in La Jolla, California. And we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to use your contour facial cups. They come in silicone or in glass. Know that when you use the silicone cup, it's going to be a little different than using the glass cup and how you apply it. Only because it's a different medium and how it's going to create suction on the face to contour it. So we're just going to go straight to the nitty gritty and show you the protocol. So first of all, you always want to use a medium on your face, meaning oil, moisturizer. You can also use, um, I'm going to switch your face, your toner. This is just some organic witch hazel. The whole point is you need a medium on the skin to actually contour and use the cups. Because if we don't, then it creates more of a discoloration. That being said, when you do use contour cupping on the face or anywhere on your body, the whole point is you're trying to get Sha to come up, okay? But this is for the body. On the face, you don't want as much to come up. So if you do it too much, no, you can get this red. So we're gonna do a gentler type of suction as well as not as long and three times max as many times as you want to um, put it on your face and do the contouring. Now, over time, when you start using it more regularly, 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 regularly. Sounds like <laughs> rhymes with celery. Yeah, exactly. When you use it more frequently, um, just know your face can actually, then you can use it a little bit more. Then the shaw won't be coming up as much. And you might get a day that the shaw comes up, but don't worry because it goes away. And the beautiful thing about it is it's actually really good for the skin because what's happening are this is the cells and the old blood is coming up to the surface. And what creates the complexion to look dull is the cells aren't regenerating as fast. So when you use the contour cupping, it, what it's going to do, it's going to help that cellular regeneration. And that's what gives you that nice, beautiful glow as well as a nice, um, just a sheen to the face, even without the medium of the oil. Okay, let's get to this. So you're gonna take your cup and you're gonna actually go down the neck three times along these lines. Now we never slide on the neck, okay? And then you're gonna also take it out from underneath. So there's a big bone here, collarbone, right? You're gonna take it from here and go around. So this is actually a lymphatic style to kind of get the lymph coming from the neck down. And then you're gonna to go to the other side. I personally like to go bilaterally, meaning both sides at the same time versus one side, like do the right, all on the right, and then all on the left. And it's better to do it both, because then you're even. So three times down, and this is just kind of the elephant kisses. I had a patient call it the elephant kisses. And then you come from here, remember, underneath the bone, and slide down, and slide down, and slide down. So on the left side, this is actually a lymphatic drainage system right here. You can even do a little bit more on this left. Okay, then, so if you're doing it yourself, it's gonna be a little bit more challenging to kind of roll yourself on the, to the side like this. Otherwise, you can go up the neck again. And then you're gonna take it along the jawline three times. You okay? Uh -huh. Three times. Remember I said both sides. Mm -hmm. But you know, once you start doing this yourself, like I do this in the shower with my skin, with my um, cleanser. I just have, some, what I do is I keep some coconut oil in the shower or sesame seed oil. And then um, I just put it on and then I use the silicone cup. You want to use a silicone cup in the shower because the glass is actually more fairly fragile. So this way you keep the silicone in the shower. This is going to be more like your around your in your uh, makeup cabinet. Okay, so one thing you can do as well, there's this technique you can kind of pinch your neck like this. This is really good for lymphatic drainage. So back to the dealio, we're gonna go along the cheekbone, along the jawline, okay. Then you're gonna come to the ear, and you're gonna go one at the ear, one by the eyebrow. One at the ear, one by the eyebrow. Other side, one by the ear, one by the eyebrow, one by the ear, and one at the upper side of the eyebrow. That being said, be careful when you do the cups by your eyes, you never want to do it on directly on the eye. What you can do is do it on the eyebrow, okay? 
but you want to avoid this area. All right, so then you're going to go to the nose, and then you go directly under the eye. The nose and directly under the eye. So on this, there's an orbital ridge here. Directly under there, there's actually an acupuncture point. It's called tear container, and this is what helps with that, those bags under the eyes. Okay, now, so then you can just kind of slide it along the cheekbones. One, two, three. You can see she's getting some shaw coming up. I mean, it's beautiful, but if you do it too much, it can create it where it lasts long, and then you're gonna be like, why is my face so red? It'll go away, it's not a bad thing, but just be mindful of that. Same thing, so one, one. you can even count two, see she's getting red, three, one. And you'll see some sides are more sensitive than the other, three. And then love this one, so you can go right in the center of the eyebrow and then slide up. Right in the center of the eyebrow, slide up. And same here, slide up, slide up. And you know, it's just a matter of getting used to how to use this thing. So you can also do your mouth, believe it or not. Go around these lines and you go up these nasal label grooves. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change cups. This is a smaller cup. This one will bring more shot, but I like it better. I'm gonna turn your head around, just there you go. Because you can get into these lines here. And then you can kind of go up like this because the whole point is contouring the face. And it's really just getting used to how to use the cups, you know? Um, I had this one patient, she forgot and she had these and she left it on and so she had this thing with the suction there. <laughs> but you know, so, but it lifted up her jaw, you know? So same in here, um, you can kind of get, and then here, this is really good for the lymphatic drainage, you're actually going in, but you're gonna to wanna to use this littler cup, okay? You, I'll show you how to use it with this too, but you can see I'm actually going underneath the orbital, brid, orbital ridge. This helps with sinus drainage as well. And then you go back out. Okay, so here we go. This is the money maker for this. This one works really good for lifting up the eyebrow. And then you can kind of take these lines. You always want to go up. Sometimes, too, what I do with these is, especially if you suffer from headaches, migraines, you can kind of go the opposite way of the eyebrow, just because it releases a lot of that eye tension and eye strain, and it relaxes the muscle in there. I took off her eyebrow. <laughs> It looks cool. <laughs> Sorry, babe, I took off her eyebrow. Okay, then I'm gonna do your lips. Believe it or not, you can give yourself your own lip treatment. Okay, go ahead and close your mouth. Is that some, that's just lip balm, right? Uh -huh. Okay. And you can actually slide along the lips. Sorry, how do you feel so weird? They look better. Wow, they look good after doing this. Just know you want to do your lips last because it gets a bunch of saliva in there, okay? <laughs> okay, so that was with the glass cups. Now here's these cups. So you can see, you can still do this technique. Okay, but it's a little different. It's a little more gentle. These tend to be hard, like getting used to how to use them. I find if you actually pinch it down at the bottom, that's going to be your best. Close your mouth. Okay, you can still do the same thing. I know. <laughs> okay, we're having fun here. <laughs> so you can also take this and go all the way up to the hairline. Oh, sorry, we're almost done, babe. <laughs> and then what's kind of cool, you can also get behind the ear and kind of, especially if you suffer from any neck tension. Yeah, you can get uh, under there. Uh, and then, bam. You got your unicorn. But so I guess the big thing too is like, you can really contour these cheekbones. You know, like when I do this every day, like my face looks so much better for the day and everyone's like, oh, you look great. 
because I contoured it. Not only is it gonna give it a, like a nicer shape and it's gonna help with some of the sagging, but then it also helps with the um, sinus drainage and the lymphatic drainage when you get puffy and swelling. And remember, we're also helping with that cellular regeneration so your skin has a better glow. All right, this is Sarah from Beauty Boy by Point here in La Jolla, California. This is gorgeous, the anti-aging alchemist, Angelina. And thank you for watching.